Hello and welcome, this is Al from Open Source Channel and welcome again to a new episode on R2. Today I'm going to show you how to get started with the Raspberry Pi. Not so long ago I bought a Raspberry Pi from Amazon. I bought this version here with the wireless, dongle, memory card and power supply. Don't forget to use our link that you can find after every single video in the description. Let's see if I can show you here. Let's stop this one here. We don't want that. And as you can see here, you can support by buying these items using this link here. I will, of course, put a link below the video. So anyway, this is the actual Raspberry Pi org website. You can press download and you can start start downloading the Raspbian OS. Here you can find on the app a start guide. Once you have downloaded the, the Raspbian on your desktop, you need to download also a Win32 disk imager. You can find a copy on a SourceForge project slash Win32 disk imager. And once you download the file, you can download the SD formatter on www.sdcard.org. You can go to the downloads and download the latest version of the of the program. I got the version uh, 7 one that it works on Windows 10 as well. Okay, okay. Once you do that. Um, I have already downloaded all the files. Here we go. The first thing I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to install Windows 32 Disk Imager. Press Run. Press Yes. And I'm going to do Next. I accept the agreement. Next. Next. And let's do this one here and install the program. I'm not going to launch at the moment. I'm going to press finish and I'm going to do SD format 4. Press on double click on setup and I'm going to start the installation. Going to press next again, next, next, and install. Press yes. And there we go, the two programs have been installed. The first thing I'm going to do is launch SD Formatter, and I'm going to press yes. And I'm going to select the drive where is my uh, SD card in the G is the correct one. It is a 32 gig um, SD card. Usually they don't actually come as the real size. Usually it's always a little bit less. So 28.7 for this one. And the layout's quick format, and I press format. Press OK. And there we go, that's done. I'm press exit and I start double click on Windows 32 disk imager, press yes. As you can see, this is my SD card. I'm going to load the ISO that I downloaded. <coughs> Sorry about that. So if I go to, let's see, share. Raspberry Pi Assets, Raspberry Wheezy, select the image and press OK and I'm going to press right. Say yes. 
Now we're going to wait until it's done. I'm going to pause a little bit until it's done and I'll resume soon. Here we go, the, uh, the writing of the SD card has been successfully done. I'm going to press OK and I'm going to exit. Now the first thing I want to do, I want to double click on my PuTTY program and I'm going to initiate the SSH. So the first thing I want to do here, uh, I need to find out first the IP of my Raspberry Pi. Now the first thing I'm going to do now, uh, I'm going to load the SD that I just done to the Raspberry Pi and I'm going to start up and I'll come back as soon as I can. Alright, so the SD card has been inserted to the Raspberry Pi and now the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to um, open CMD command line and I'm going to click on this and I'm going to find out the IP of the Raspberry. So to do that, usually I do a symbol, single, you know, ping. If you don't know how to do it, just say ping. Uh, let's say ping made a mistake here. Here we go. And as you can see over here, if I do attack A, it will resolve the address to host name. So that's what I'm going to do. A, and I'm going to write these words, raspbx.org. And there we go here, you can find the Raspberry Pi IP. So we finish with 92. So once I do that, I'm going to add the IP 192.168.1.92. Press on open. There we go. The login and password is pi dot login, and the password is raspberry. R A S P E O L Y. And there we go. We're inside raspberry. Now the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to run. If this is the first time you run it. Um, you're going to actually do pseudo raspberry or pseudo raspy config press enter I think I'm going to exit it there we go and what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the first option to expand the file system and OK. Now I got uh, the option, I can overclock. At the moment it's not overclocked, it comes as none, 700 megahertz. So you can go up to Pi 2, 1000 megahertz, 1 gigahertz. I'm going to set as medium. OK, and once I finish, I do finish. And I'm going to reboot. There we go. Click on that. Let's open again another Windows X192 I'm going to wait a few seconds. I'm going to press OK. It might take a little bit longer to, because of the expansion of the SD card. Here we go. Pi. And again, Raspberry for the password. Now, the next step is to start Raspberry. Now, you can start the GUI 
the graphic interface by typing start x but as you will see here it would not work because this is remotely done so what you can actually do um, let's just done this you can actually let me open this one here and let me resize a little bit you can actually install xrvp by just inserting this line i'm going to copy and i'm going to paste here press enter you don't have to i mean if you connect your raspberry to your tv by the hdmi you don't need to do this i'm doing this only because it's remotely so i can show you how it works um, so i press yes this shouldn't take long you can start stop the service as you can see here with these lines i'm not going to as it already started don't forget to run also an app to get update Again, I'm not going to do this because this is the actual getting started for the Raspberry Pi. Here we go. The remote desktop has started. Now, what I'm going to do in Windows, I'm going to type here remote desktop connection. Now, as you remember, we already had the IP. We already have the credentials, Pi and Raspberry. Yeah, Pi has login and Raspberry has password. I'm pressing connect. And that's what I'm going to do here. Username as Pi and Raspberry as password. And it's connected. And a few seconds, there we go. You should have a working Raspberry Pi with all the programs internet games accessories and preferences and that's it really now to get out of this I'm going to say shut down and I'm going to choose log out and I'm going to press ok and I'm back in my windows Thanks again for following me for another episode on how to. Don't forget to share and like my video. If you don't like it, dislike it, it's up to you. Don't forget to support me by buying the, from me my link, you know, the um, Amazon links. If you buy the Raspberry, please use our link. That will help me to do more videos and buy me new, you know, new items so I can make new videos out of it. Uh, thanks again and I will see you next time.